Now let's move on to the demonstrative pronouns. Let me erase it first. Masculine demonstrative pronoun is Hono. Meaning this. And the feminine is Hode. Hono and Hode. Meaning this. Hono Gabro. This man. Hode Atso, this woman. So the demonstratives come before the noun. Okay. It can also come after the nouns. Okay. It can either come before or after. Uh, after the nouns hono gabro or gabro hono both means this man this is the near demonstrative and the far demonstrative are how and hoy meaning that how malko that king hoy malkto that queen The plural for the near demonstratives will be Holain. It's common for both masculine and singular, um, so feminine. And for the far demonstratives, It's Honun and Honen. It's the same we found in the personal pronouns also but the other forms are not used here as the demonstratives 
who is not used as a dem uh, demonstrative neither is he do you recognize the who and he in the personal pronouns the third person masculine and feminine personal pronouns who and he it's not used here instead hav and hoe similarly honun and honen Above that, what's the Which one? In the English. Uh, Meaning that. That, that person. Up, above that. Above that. Please. This one? No, like in between. Far down? Is that what it said? I didn't see that. This one? Um, Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Is that, does it say far down or far down? This one? Yes. Oh, it's. it's, okay, it's yes. Far demonstratives. Uh, okay. <laughs> far demonstratives. The handwriting is not good. I use sometimes I use these abbreviations. Hono hode holen. Can you repeat it? Hono hode and holen. Hono hode holen. Yeah. Hono masculine, hode is feminine, and holen is common for plural, both for masculine and singular. Got it? learn it by heart again okay so that how, how uh, can mean also that is a verb or yeah it can also be a verb it can also be a personal pronoun it can function as a demonstrative pronoun also If it comes before a noun, it is definitely a demonstrative. Have gabro, and it's demonstrative pronoun. That man. If it comes after, it can mean that man. It can also mean he is a man. Gabro have. Hmm? Follow? Gabro have can mean <coughs> that man or he is a man. But if it comes before, it can only mean that man. How Gabro. Okay. It's a demonstrative. <coughs> The next set of pronouns is the interrogative pronouns. Shall I raise it? Done?
मान हु मोनो मीन्स वॉट Can you translate it? Man, who, how, gabro. Who is that man? Who is that man? <coughs> Here, these two can combine and become manu. मानु हाउ घबराओ हियर दिस हु फंक्शंस एस वर्ब हियर इज द डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव दिस इज द इंटरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन it's not going to work because there's no need of two verbs It'll, if you shift this half to this position it will become a verb then we can it will be two sentences he is uh, then again he is a man You got it. Just two interrogative ones, uh, the common ones, and there's another one. I know, I do, and I lane, meaning which. Which are these people? Which is that man? I know. I know Gabro. Yeah, I know Gabro. Which is that man? Which is the man? I know Gabro means which is the man.
I know masculine, <coughs> I know feminine, I lane. It's a plural, it's common for both. Got it? Okay with that?